Vanessa Diva. Hi guys, um, welcome to your channel. Sandra said what? Um, thank you again for being here. Thank you for watching. First of all, this diva look, as you can see, was put together, honey, by Daily Style by Anya. She can be found on Instagram. So thank you for getting me together. I know it's the holidays, so I had to amp it up a little bit for you. Um, again, thank you for watching. I'm happy to have you. And thank you, oh my goodness, I asked you last time to help me do translations and you guys have been helping me. Thank you, thank you so much for that. The translation helps me connect with every single person around the world and even for you and people like you who you feel like would enjoy the video more in your language because I know being bilingual I'm not gonna see it say I'm a polyglot cuz I'm not really fluent in the other languages a polyglot by the way is someone who speaks like three or more languages so I feel like I know a little bit some some and the other ones and a little bit some some and that was in that other one about four of them but I wouldn't consider myself a polyglot. I'm really mostly bilingual, but I would get around. I would figure my way around if I was lost in France or Spain or something like that, because I know a little bit of French and Spanish. But I would say, help me translate my videos in your language and so that when people watch them, they can watch the captions in their language in case English is not their primary language or it's not their strongest language that's very helpful and you guys have been doing that so thank you guys for helping me and thank you again for I'm together and I hope you guys took those gift ideas that I gave you I gave you I think I last video I posted four extra ones the fourth one is a surprise and I posted before that I've been posting so if you need gift ideas last minute gift ideas inexpensive gift ideas go ahead and just look at my other videos towards the end I gave you the gift ideas for your family members and your friends and your loved ones happy holidays to you guys so I don't forget happy holidays Merry Christmas happy Kwanzaa happy Hanukkah and if you don't celebrate the holidays that's okay good vibes to you I hope all of you guys enjoy your time because it's really festive even if you're not into the holidays like that you you can't deny having a good time and having fun with family and friends so but I'm not gonna ring, ramble anymore so I'm going to get into today's subject which is should you consult your boyfriend or significant other if you want to cut your hair this is the situation so the new year is coming up and we know people are always making new year's resolution and one of the things that this young lady wants to do is just completely cut up all her hair i think or maybe most of it just for like a fresh start because you know when a woman cuts off her hair she in business okay and so she's contemplating that should she consult her boyfriend or whoever she's dating for me, I think it really depends on how long you've been talking to this person. Because if you've been talking to this person three weeks, they don't even know why you sleep on the left side of the bed and not the right. So, you guys are not involved that deeply to have to consult him on, you know, whether or not you should cut your hair. But if you guys have been dating, let's say for about four, five years or three years or two years, I don't think it's something as needing permission per se. I think that's a conversation that ha should happen naturally because your significant other is the person you turn to every day and tell them who pissed you off today, who you flipped off, who at work is getting on your nerves even though it clearly sounds like you are the one that's in the wrong but they won't tell you about that. But yeah, like if you are in a ha happy, healthy relationship, communication should be like everyday part of everyday life for you and it should automatically come up like hey I'm thinking about cutting my on fire what do you think should I do this one or that one and they'll let you know their opinions so I think maybe you guys depending on how long you've been dating you need to work on your communication skills a bit because that's a bigger issue for me and congrats 
on wanting to cut your hair you are very very bold I'm not that brave I've been thinking about cutting off my hair for like the past four years but I'm too chicken I'm a big chicken but what I really really want though is dreads I think girls with dreads are so so cute but I'm already scared I like to change up my hair I like to wear different wigs I like to do afros I like to get braids and I'm just scared to cut my hair come on Sandra I can't cut my hair but so big up to you on that and the other thing is I've settled for like the full locks at the hair store remember when they used to be $1.99 and now they are like $7.99 and $12 for a pack that barely has six to seven branches it's a ripoff everybody trying to get down with a get down i guess child but yeah if you want to cut your hair if it's something that happened like simultaneously you were having a day you're like you know what i'm cutting it off that that's self-explanatory because you didn't know you were gonna do it yourself so how could you have mentioned it but i think like it's something that should come naturally and if you want to cut your hair cut your hair off it's your hair and it will grow back your hair is a part of you so if you want it long if you want it short if you want it gone that's you do you boo boo so i mean talk you can talk to your partner about it and maybe that change your mind maybe that's if you want to change your mind if you don't want to change your mind you want to go forward with it your partner is gonna love you regardless if you have long hair short hair if you bald if you got a little twa if you got an afro if you got full hair fake hair i said full and fresh but yeah if you got fake hair whatever it is your partner's gonna understand regardless so again you guys that was my take on it i wish you guys a happy healthy holiday and happy healthy new year and i hope to see you guys again again please help me translate my video in your language and make the content more enjoyable for all of you and you can translate it in English. I believe I mentioned that in the last video, not this one. You can help me translate it in English. And if you want to see how the caption comes up, all you have to do is click on the caption. Like it says CC while you're watching the video. And then the captions are automatically going to come up in the language that you have. YouTube on. And the other thing. A lot of people keep telling me you guys haven't been getting my notifications when I post please make sure that you see the little bell I think by where the subscribe is that's your notification if that is not activated if that's turned off you won't be able to see my notifications you have to turn on the notifications so you can see when I post and so you can watch my videos because I get that a lot people are like hey have you been posting what's going on I have been posting I have been very active so if you don't see a video from me at least on a Saturday just know probably your notification is off so you're not receiving that okay so I will talk to you guys very soon thank you again for being here let me know your questions Sandra said what at gmail.com and then facebook.com forward slash Sandra said what Instagram Sandra s a n d r a nico n e i k o and then i'm on twitter um sandra underscore normil n o r m i l so yeah i will talk to you guys later ciao and thank you again look at this honey I'm, it's a diva Whew. it's a diva i'm feeling myself oh i don't wanna i don't wanna stop the video yet at this daily style by Anya A N I A. Look at this, yes, honey, yes. Okay, I'm I'm done. I'm done. Bye bye.